Dear family and friends, we're gathered here at this hour to witness and to celebrate the coming together of two separate lives. We have come to join Josh and Desiree in marriage and to be with them in the making of this important commitment. Accepting the other person in his or her totality is the essence of this commitment. It is therefore a decision which is not to be undertaken lightly, but rather undertaken with great consideration and respect for one another as well as oneself. Since the moment that Josh mentioned Des to us, and um, since the moment he first spoke about her, I thought about what I would say in this, at this time because I knew, I knew this was it for him. I knew that she was the one. Um, very quickly, he was like, do you remember her? Do you, like that hot girl, you know? I was like, okay, well, the chemistry has always been there. I will honor you, love you, and be faithfully committed to you until the day I die. I will give you everything I have. Stop it, I can't give our, give our relationship and marriage. You guys! Josh and Desiree have both, both written out some thoughts and feelings about each other. They've asked me to express these since they didn't think they could get through them without some tears. <laughs> so first, Josh's thoughts. Josh knew on their first date that Desiree was the perfect one for him, his perfect puzzle piece. Their dates all had a common theme, things they both love, good workouts, and even better food. Josh finds that there is just so much that he loves about Desiree. She's a beautiful person inside and out. She's smart and confident. She's authentic, funny, and very weird. <laughs> she loves her family and loves Josh's as well. For Josh, Desiree is his soulmate, his best friend, and his 3P. So Desiree, Josh promises to support your dreams and desires, to forever be your workout and eating partner, to be honest and truthful, to communicate with you openly and freely, to keep pushing you to live life to its fullest, and he expects you to do the same for him. Josh pledges his love and devotion. And even though you'll soon be husband and wife, Josh vows to continue dating you forever. And now Desiree's thoughts about Josh. What Desiree admires most about Josh is his commitment not only to her, but to his family, his friends, his health, and his career. Since they began dating, Josh has made a commitment to show and tell Desiree he loves her every single day. Early in their relationship, Josh insisted that they have a nightly phone date because his mom told him that you fall in love through talking, not texting. <laughs> Since then, Josh has never missed a night without calling Desiree when they were apart from each other. Josh fills Desiree's life with love, laughter, and positivity that are beyond anything that she has ever imagined. So Josh, Desiree promises to respect you, to encourage you, and to cherish you for the rest of your lives.
after me. I, Josh, take you Desiree. I, Josh, take you Desiree. I, Desiree, take you Josh. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. Richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And say together to each other, with this ring. With this ring. With this ring. As, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I jumped the <laughs> And together, as a token of my love and affection. As a token of my love and affection. I thee wed. I thee wed. And now, inasmuch as Josh and Desiree have consented together in marriage, and have witnessed the same before family and friends, and thereto have given and pledged their faithfulness each to the other, and have declared the same exchanging rings. Now, by virtue of the power vested in me by the state of California, I do pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Like so many relationships do these days, Josh and Desi's relationship started online. That's right, for a whole month, all they did was exchange heartfelt Facebook messages, meaningful emails, and witty texts. Or so they tell it. Finally, Josh figured out that San Diego was just two hours away, so he got in his car and drove down to meet his blushing bride. After that weekend in San Diego, Josh called me and said, hey, remember that girl, Kyoko's cousin? I think she's the one. He might not have said those words exactly. <laughs> but we know what we knew what he meant. <laughs> 